What's up guys? Dar Sizzle and Pudding here from Dar Sizzle Offshore. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss one minute of this video. Let's get right to it. Good morning, Dar Sizzle Nation. Brian and Darcy, the fishing couple, coming at you from Stewart, Florida today. What's up? Still waking up. Still just waking up. We just got here. Darcy set the alarm clock super late as usual. <laughs> 4 30. But it's fine. We're here. We gotta go some bait. We'll show you how to do it. Let's go. In order to catch the bait this morning, I'm using a size 8 tzatziki, uh, mustad tzatziki, but you got, basically got to figure out what the bait wants. In particular, there's little red hooks on this tzatziki with like little green beads, and for whatever reason, the bait's like red and green beads, so you kind of like just got to mix it up and see what happens, but if they're not biting one, you got to try different colors, so it's always good to have an assortment of tzatzikis. We're on. Just loaded with bait. I mean, this whole area is just filled with thousands, hundreds of thousands. All right guys, we just loaded up on like three or four dozen live gorgeous baits, super fresh, and the way to keep them fresh is don't touch them with your fingers, just use the tools required in order to take them off the uh, sabiki because that will keep them fresh all day long. Anyhow, so now that we're, we've done that, sun's coming up we've got flat calm conditions currently so we're gonna take advantage of that and this time of the year you go for mahi mahi you go offshore you look for weed the breeze birds all that good stuff and we're gonna see what happens out there and then if we can't come across anything we're gonna switch to plan B okay guys we just started fishing we came across a weed line in about 450 feet of water which is more than 10 miles out and literally within two minutes of trolling, we just caught the smallest mahi-mahi, also known as a dolphin fish in the world. This is a throwback. Let's get him back in the water though. Check him out. He's going home. All right, that's a good start. At least we got one fish in the boat so far and you can see this is actually a tuna chain and we're using small baits today because this time of the year, I got all bloody. This time of the year, we have smaller mahi around and also big ones mixed through, but we got the bite on the smaller baits. just found. I can't wait to show you what we found. I've been looking for this piece of floating debris all year and it's loaded with dolphin. We just trolled by it, just had two hookups, caught one fish, lost one, lost our rig unfortunately, but we're going back to it. Let's do this. All right, we switched over from trolling to chunking this log here. Just had one on really quick, but it probably wasn't big enough. He didn't swallow the hook. Our baits are pretty big as you saw. So we got some live baits out and hopefully we're going to get another one. Let's go, Sizzle. And our Sizzle's hooked up. Hooked up. Yeah, so our baits, unfortunately, are awful big for these dolphins. So I just used a piece of dead chunks. All right, just used a little trick there from um, a charter captain that I learned to go in underneath the gills to get it out through the stomach area there. But I don't want to waste a lot of time here. I want to get back to catching some more fish. Got him. Woo! Come on, weed. Too much weed on my line. There we go. Fish on! All right, so I just lost that other one. I let this one eat much longer. But I'm using chunks now, which should be much, ooh, that one's getting like he's chased. Nice fish is gonna get on that one. Oh, what happened there? We just have a ton of action, guys. Woo, nice one. 
Oh yeah, he's getting crushed right now. He gets swimming up with it, babe. I would check that. Sailfish on this rod. I said let it go because I'm trying to get this dolphin. Nice one. All right, if you just heard that on the GoPro, we got a sailfish on over here. We got a mahi on right here. Don't gonna reel in the sailfish. Let's go, Sizzle. Sailfish out deep. Absolutely insane. I mean, this time of the year, you get sailfish out here but it's not common. Get the water off the lens. All right, sailfish is coming in, guys. So the only, the big baits that we have, the only one that I had down, which was the live bait. Whoa, whoa, standing up. That was cool. They never do that close to the boat. Uh, hopefully you guys saw that. But with the live baits, oh my gosh. That's insane what he's doing. Standing straight up. He's going to the log. Wow. That's Greyhound and Sailfish right there. Heck yeah, he just broke the weight. That's fine. Wow, we put it on a show for you guys. Wow, wow. I hope he's not getting chased. Oh my God, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow. But just goes to show you guys, absolutely incredible that just one log out in the middle of nowhere, what it can do and what it holds. Sit. That was so cool. He like popped his head up and then he just finally jumped. But you can see that we're catching tons of mahi, tons of bait around the log, and literally a sailfish was probably swimming by down deep. So it's just so cool to catch this variety out here in Stewart. Oh my gosh, so cool. I haven't caught a sailfish in a while. He's not giving up. He saw the boat, he came close, and now he's kind of getting away from the boat again. He's still got energy. Here he comes. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and click my drag a couple times and increase it a little bit here. You don't want to fight a sailfish for terribly long, mainly because they don't really handle fights very well. So in sailfish tournaments, you want to catch and release them as fast as possible. So that's what we're going to try to do here. But a lot could go wrong. I could lose them, line could break, a lot could happen, but we want to get this fish released healthy. Color, here he is. Beauty, oh, what a beauty. Didn't like the boat. Woo! Oh my gosh! Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> ah! He's too green. Okay, you got it. I got it. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, what a green fish! I'm gonna tighten it up a little. If it gets crazy, just go over the hook. Rip it out. Hands on the bill. All right, guys, we just ended up cutting the line. The hook was in his mouth. We don't want to mess with him or take him out of the water. The hook will rust out, guys. So I'm just going to keep him in the water, his head under the water, and let him revive here and swim off strong. All right, three, two, one. He's off. He went under the boat, but that's okay. Swam away strong. That's exactly what we wanted. That was so cool catching them while dolphin fishing. It's very, very rare. Out of all the years I've been offshore fishing now, which is like six, seven, eight years, that's the second sailfish we've caught deep sea when we're trolling out here for dolphin. So it's pretty cool, special. And he swam away strong. So let's get back on that log. Oh, 
Oh, gee whiz, these fish are just releasing themselves. I don't get it. That's okay, he could go home though. He's a little smaller. That's what happens when you film the fish for half an hour like we do all the time. So I could have gapped that fish and thrown him in, but we're too busy getting those beautiful shots. It's all for you guys. Shots, 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 shots. It's all for you guys. All for you guys, Darcy says. Having so much fun out here, these flat calm conditions and not have to worry about the sharks while you're on the reef. And out here, you, don't, you just can catch fish and not worry about anything get, getting eaten on the hook. Look in the corner. Is another dolphin? About the same. That one's bigger. Nice fish right there. We are catching them up today, guys. Having a blast and catching mahi tacos. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, quite enough mahi. You know, we don't need a million mahi, just keep a couple for dinner and leave the rest out there. And uh, Darcy's gonna try and catch a snook here on, on, uh, on a live bait here. This is the sport time they spawn in the summer. And so there should be big snook here in the inlet. See what happens. Tank. I just watched him come up. Look at him just crushing his Stella right now. Just stripped out a ton of line, and my bait just came to the surface and actually jumped. And when the bait does that, you know there's a huge fish under them. And I just saw the snook just like air out on him, and there was the biggest like splash and the noise in the water when they sucked that bait in. So it's so cool. Can't wait to see how big this snook is. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, broke the oh, oh. You broke the oh. head! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth, gonna pop it out. This is a huge female breeder snook. We wanna get her back in the water immediately. Oh my god! Look at this fish! I don't even think I can pick her up. I think it's my biggest fish ever. Guys, oh my God. Tank of a snook right there. Let's get a quick measure and get her back home though. Insane how big they get when they're breeding. She is a 40. thick 40. Oh my gosh. Insane dude, just look at the girth on her back. Huge fish, I'm not gonna let go of you. Beauty. Let's get her back in the water. These sport fish are so amazing, guys. So amazing. Love catching snook, man. All right, guys. Catching these breeder snook is so much fun. And literally, you can do it all summer long. During the summertime, they are just really thick. Spawning, making more females, making more snook. And uh, she put up a heck of a fight. Starting to kick, here we go. Starting to grab my, my thumb. I'm not even holding her. One. Two, three. Yes! Yes! So that was so freaking epic though. I really want to go catch more right now, even though we had like an epic day so far. Heck yeah! That was incredible though, Sizzle. One of the best days in the water that we've had in a long time. We are totally blessed and I'm honestly not even sure who can catch a giant sailfish and then a giant snook in one day. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, follow your dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.